What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Puma and wherever you may be and however you may be watching, thanks for making this video a part of your day. We're back with more WWE 2K19 My Career Mode following Puma through his career. We uh, were traded to Raw in the last episode. We faced off against John Cena in a submission match at SummerSlam. We got the victory there after uh, AJ Styles showed us how to do the calf crusher. Beating John Cena at SummerSlam Immediately, Kurt Angle comes out. We were traded to Raw. We chose to interrupt Miz TV, and we just flat out punched Miz right in the face. That uh, in turn brought the Miz Taraj on to us, and uh, we had to fight the Miz Taraj. Then, in a triple, no, 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 excuse me, in a three on one handicap match, we faced off after we interrupted Elias. Um, and told him his music sucked. We faced off against Elias and the Miztourage three on one before getting the victory there. And now we are here in the locker room with Elias, Kurt Angle, the Miztourage, Bo Dallas, and Curtis Axel and Sasha Banks for some odd reason. But let's uh, let's talk to Kurt Angle. It seems to be our only option right now. Let's see what he has to say. Don't think I haven't noticed the impact you've made on Raw already. In fact, if you can beat Bo Dallas tonight, I don't care what Miz says. You've earned a shot at his Intercontinental title. Oh, coming in. We win the United States Championship over on SmackDown and pretty much right away until Triple H screwed us out of it. And now we get an Intercontinental title shot on Raw. This is awesome. That's great. Thanks for looking out for me, and Kurt. speaking of looking out for you, if Miz attacks you during the match, you'll still get your title shot. Even better. That's awesome. You know, despite what some people say, you're a good GM. Wait. Who says I'm not a good GM? God, I, I gotta go. I gotta get ready for my match. <laughs> so let's talk to Sasha Banks. I'm, sh I'm sure we won't fight Sasha Banks, but you got the Miz Taraj here and Elias. We're gonna talk to everybody. I really hope you win tonight and get your title match with the Miz. I'm so sick of him and Maurice running their mouths. Well, feel free to come along with on the ride, Sasha Banks. I mean, I'm all for it. Maybe I'll be the one who finally shuts them up. You'll be the first active superstar to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame if you can pull that off. <laughs> I better start working on my speech. Okay, that was lame. All right. <laughs> Ms. Taraj. Even if somehow you get past me tonight, you don't have what it takes to be Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, I think you need to actually have visited another continent to be intercontinental champion. <laughs> We're A-listers. We visit different continents just to go to movie premiere or the hottest new club. Uh, okay, I, I will say this. Curtis Axel's jacket is legit. Bo Dallas I could do without. Oh, yeah? What's the last continent you've been to? They're going to say something dumb, like Texas. Florida's not a continent. F I right? freaking knew it. No. I don't think so. But it's surrounded by water. I thought that's what made something a continent. No. You're thinking of a, an isthmus. Oh, Jesus. Hey, you know what? It's none of your business what continents we visited. All I care about is embarrassing you tonight. All right, Bo. I think you've already embarrassed yourself, you freaking knuckleheads. All right, I'm sure we're going to have Keep a side match. for a receipt coming your way. For what? For the broken guitar. If you get my drift. Nobody cares about your stupid guitar, Elias. I knew we were going to have a side match. We're going to fight this monkey. Apparently, the guitar I broke last week wasn't your only one. In fact, it looked exactly the same as this one with the dollar bills stuck in the neck there, and they all arranged the same. I have an entire collection. That's too bad. I was hoping no one would ever have to hear you play again. Sounds like you want to settle up on that receipt right now. I have a busy night, but I think I have time to squeeze in an Elias beatdown. Shouldn't take any longer than one of your terrible songs. I have more important things to worry about, like getting a shot at Miz's Intercontinental title. So how about you go sing the blues to someone else? Let's fight this fool. Well, we're going to start things off with a huge jumping DDT. We are not playing around in Seguri to Elias. Come on. Oh, a kick to the midsection and another and a third. Bow. Come on, Elias, you jerky. Uh-oh. Come on. No, man. 
He got us with that clothesline big time. Puma says, not today, sucker. Oh, but um, Elias has other plans, apparently. I, um, I am unable to do lifting, carry moves, and all that stuff. It's annoying. DDT. I don't, uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's because we're a cruiserweight. We're only like 220 some odd pounds. Oh man, what a neck breaker. Too bad there's not a guitar laying around because uh, I sure would like to blast you with one. Van Daminator with the steel chair. And following it up with a big old blast right to the dome. Uh, Elias, you goon. You cannot hang with Puma. Get up, goofy, goofy goof. Look at this, hooking this dude up. And got him up, pile driver, right on his noggin. What a knuckle. Get, get, there you go. Oh, I mean, I mean it's close. Ah! Oh, okay. We're gonna try to put this doofus through this table if it'll freaking let me got him hooked up now set him up power bomb time through the freaking table and how is that how are we not done with this oh and he's gonna kick puma right in the chin the light, oh my oh i don't know what that was with my voice you know what? we're gonna run out of here and go into this locker room and surprise old buddy with this chair. Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, man. And now we're just gonna just, we're gonna roll on all, all, all no dude right now. Oh, he dodged it. Not that time. Get up. Because it's almost time to put your funky tail away. Again, a butterfly pile driver. Oh, okay. Well, that's how that ends. All right, well, we just put a beating on old boy. Let's, uh, there's a lot of podcasts. I haven't been listening to them. Mm, I wonder if I should be. All right, let's go to our match here against Bo Dallas. We get a shot at that icy title if we win. Win. We win. All right, here we go. We're going to take on... Bo friggin' Dallas, and he's got the Miz at ringside, so who knows what? Okay, so we're starting off like that. Oh, I uh, just noticed we got a new reversal stock. That's cool. We um, did some things in the in the tree. Uh. Puma now's got Bo up, kick to the midsection. No, Bo is gonna reverse and knocks Puma down to the ground. He's got him hooked up, single leg Boston Crab. Uh, but it looks like Puma's going to be able to get out of it. Kicks Bo right in the face. Shot to the back. Puma's going to follow it up now. Oh, dragging that arm out. And a big leg drop right across the arm of Bo Dallas. Puma, he's letting Bo get to his feet up. And a drop kick. Wow. What a move right there. Followed up by an insiguri. Puma is not... Looks like the Miz is trying to get involved here. The ref, way on the other side of the ring, not really paying attention. Uh-oh. And Bo now takes advantage. Oh, man. Nice atomic drop there from Bo, but a shot to the mid, uh, a reversal there. Oh, no. Bo has got Puma up, and he hangs him out to dry on the top rope. And now starts bl blasting that dome across the mat there, that mask doesn't uh, provide any kind of protection. Bo is telling Puma to just bring it, it looks like. Up and oh, oh, whips Bo Dallas down to the ground. And okay, something got a little wonky there. Backstabber, backstabber to Bo Dallas. And now Puma does a flip and kicks Bo right in the face. Moonsault, oh, right into the DDT. What a move there by Puma. He's going to run off, and another moonsault there. 
Puma runs towards the ropes. And a moonsault off the top rope, but he just misses. My goodness. Puma going off skis. He's going to hook up Bo Dallas here and whip around behind him. Standing sea fire. Whoa. Oh, Puma's in the corner trying to get no, but Bo. Oh, gosh. Nothing doing for either one of these gentlemen. Puma, look at this. He is geared up. And a kick. No, Bo Dallas scoots out of the way. Puma goes for a, a forearm and misses. And then Bo hits him with that backbreaker. Back breaker. Goodness gracious. Huge clothesline there from Bo. Puma back up to his feet. Bo is going to send Puma over the top rope and all the way out to the ground. The Miz has put a chair in the ring. What are we doing here, Miz? What are we doing here? We do know, though, if Miz um, interferes in any way. Uh-oh. Into Whoa! Not into the corner. Puma goes over the top. And here comes Bo. And Puma's going to send him back into the ring area. Like Puma again sending Bo back over into the ring area. And Puma's having a hard time getting back in. There we go. Oh, both men go. Puma might have bounced his forehead off of those steel steps. Whoa. What is going on here? Puma is charged up now. Big shot right there. And I'm not quite sure what we're going to see here from Puma. My goodness. Big kick to the back of the head. And what are we going to see from Puma to Bo Dallas? Bam! Puma's bite. And it doesn't. Man, what? Well, okay, that was, a, that was crazy stuff. Shot now from the top rope. And then a moonsault, but Bo moves out of the way. Puma, get, get off me, Puma says. And he is rallying up the crowd, trying to get them behind him. And it looks to be working. Puma's got Bo hooked up. What a DDT, an impaler DDT at that. Puma's going to go to the outside. Oh, and he kind of lands that leg drop, springboard leg drop, but it doesn't land flush. Puma now getting picked up here by Bo. And a nice reversal. Oh, and he drops Bo down onto his head. Puma backing up into the corner. Oh, boy. Here we go. Bo is stumbling mess right now. And Puma blasts him right in the head. Holy cow. The Miz back up on the ring apron. Trying to uh, distract the referee. Oh, no. Puma, look at this. Up on both shoulders now in a powerbomb position right into the ring. Right into the ring post. Puma says, you know what? I've had enough of this. And he catches Bo. Going to send Bo. No, a reversal. Bo comes full blast and Puma dives out of the way and a kick right to the face. Following it up. Oh, no. Another powerbomb from Bo Dallas. But Puma wisely slides out of the ring. And is uh, showing off his wit here to Bo. Oh, no. Oh, catches Bo just like that. Puma's going to dive in again and a shot to the back of the head. And the Miz trying to distract Puma. And I don't think it's going to work. Not this time. A kick to the midsection. Sends Puma across the ring. Face first. Face first. Goes Puma. And Bo Dallas has been busted open. And now here we go. Close to the center of the ring. Kick. No. Oh, man. Puma looked to be going for that Puma Gree. And he was reversed. But look at this. Bo, Bo Dallas bouncing all over the ring ropes. My goodness. And a flipping pile driver to Bo. Following it up. He's going to drag Bo out a little bit. Following it up. Dropping Bo right on the midsection. Yikes. 
Kick to the chest now. And another kick to the midsection. Puma follows it up. Nice Hurricane Rana. Puma's going to head over to the corner again. What is this? Oh, okay. For the second time, Puma launches himself at Bo Dallas and a big shot to the head. One, two. Oh, Bo kicks out. Look at this. Look at this. Bo the Miz just punched Bo Dallas. Okay, Miz is a genius. Since he hit Bo, Buzz got disqualified and doesn't get the Intercontinental title shot. Miz found a way around Kurt Angle's stipulation. I guess you have to give him credit for that. Buzz is obviously upset with how all of this transpired. Tough night for Bo Dallas. He'll be fine. And besides, he won the match. I'd hardly call that a victory. Wow. Wow, okay. That's pretty interesting. Yet again, the Miz finds a loophole to avoid defending the title. I know. I'm just as frustrated as you are. So what are you going to do about it? I'd like to give you your title shot anyway. But unfortunately, I just got off the phone with Triple H. And he said that since Bo Dallas technically won, you don't get to face the Miz. Triple H can just overrule you like that? Unfortunately, when push comes to shove, he can't. And I'm not surprised that he did, given your history with him. All right, well, if Miz and Triple H are refusing to give me an opportunity, then maybe I need to make my own. Opportunity? No. Title. I know a guy who can help me out. You do whatever you think you need to do. What? What? Hey, Cole. I need a favor. Uh oh. It's short notice, but you did such a good job making the titles for BCW that I wanted to see if you could make me a custom title for me to use on Monday Night Raw. Oh boy. <sighs> Fine. I promise to call you more often, not just when I need <laughs> oh, something. Oh, Cole. Oh, Cole. All right, I'll email you some design ideas, but one thing I do know is that my title will only be defended in. Oh, we get to choose. Steel cage, no DQ, ladder, or submission matches. Well, no DQ matches, duh. Thanks, man. You're the best. Ooh. Yes, I still have the lucky keychain you gave me. But I gotta run. Thanks. Alright, so it looks like we get to design our own title based around no DQ matches. Let's see what Sasha Banks Ugh. has to say. I can't believe what happened in your match with Bo Dallas. Somehow the Miz continues to find new ways to be the most annoying person on the planet. I know. Hey, I actually have a favor to ask. I'm debuting something big next week, and I was thinking it would be a good chance to have some fun at the expense of the A-list couple, but I would need your help. Are you in? You're offering me a chance to make Miz and Maurice look like even bigger idiots? Yeah, I'm in. Oh, oh, bro. Bro. Let's look. Talk Just to so you dummies. know, I still would have beaten you tonight, even if Miz didn't accidentally hit me in the face. <laughs> yeah, it was a total accident. Total. How does it feel to be brainwashed by the Miz? We're not brainwashed. Well, they said that too. Yeah. yeah, we, we have, have minds, minds of our own. own. Stop, Stop doing, doing that. that. Oh, Jesus. You first. What the hell is going no, you on? first. Yeah, you're definitely not brainwashed. You're just a couple of dum dums. Freaking morons. It must really suck to think that you have everything going your way, only to have someone who's better looking, more famous, and more talented outsmart you in the end. So far, his voice acting has been the best. Of course. Miz is the best. Fight me. This isn't the end. Triple H has spoken. Thanks to me, you lost the match and your title shot. You can see him just sm smirking, and your title shot. You look... Maybe I lost my shot at your championship, but I'm going to be the first holder of a new title that's coming to Raw. Are they bringing back the Divas title? <laughs> oh, that was a good, that was pretty good, Miz. Not quite. You'll see. All right, so we get to design a championship. Let's go. All right. So, since we get to design our own championship here, I already have created a, a couple. But since this is a no DQ match, I think one I've already created would be great. 
for this. Uh, so let's see. I think we did... What championship did we use as the base? I think it was this one. Um, and we'll leave all of that the same. So we're going to go to images here. I've got a buttload of images, but... We are going to use... So this is uh, Shannon Moore's Does It Look Like I Give a F Championship. That is up on uh, Community Creations, Prince of Punk. Look at those nipples. What? A big old nipple championship? That's on Tommaso Ciampa from Defract. You know, he likes to put them nipples on folks. <laughs> the Lone Star Championship for SWF. Done by uh, Frosty on Twitter. Yeah. Badass go uh, Diamond YouTube Championship. But we're not doing all that. Let's uh, Let me find my, my belt here. Where are we at? Since it is all about DQs, I think this championship is going to be the one we want. Whoops. Oh, god dang it. It is called the Branded Outlaw Heavyweight Championship. And Branded Outlaw Wrestling is, I believe, out of San Antonio. B-O-W. But look at that thing. That thing is freaking legit. That's what we're doing. So, I'm going to need to skew it a tad, but we're going to go out and, and up here. So, we'll just, heavyweight champion, we'll cut out the branded. There we go. We're going to have to skew it just a hair, I think. Um, We'll change this back to zero. Okay. And we will emboss it up to 25. Man, that thing is a shiny beast. All right, shiny beast. Oh, I don't think we got to choose the material. Apply to material, okay. So I kind of go for steel bumped just because it's a little busted up. Rust is way too much. Wood, glitter's just silly. Carbon fiber, rubber... Damaged, maybe? Steel. Steel bump. I do like steel bumped. All right, let's... Uh, that doesn't look too bad. All right, I dig that. Okay, so... Let's go to the material of this and do steel bump, too. I don't know how that affects it any. So the strap... We are going to make... Oops, we're going to make white. Uh-huh, and then these we are going to leave at gold. But we're going to change the material to steel bumped. Be done with it. Left side plates. We are going to use those BOW plates here. I think this is the one we use right here. Oh, I need to back out. I, I, I dorked it up. I went too far. I went too far. Here we go. Skew just a tad. There we go. That's good. And we'll just max it out. To there. That looks fairly decent. Material. Steel bumped. And boss up to 25. Nice. Now the right one. Is. Um, the far outside ones are the same. But the inside ones are a little bit different. Yeah so San Antonio. So this one. Has the Alamo on it. We're going to skew this one as well. That's good. Oh no, dang it. I'm having some ish shoes. Issues. Skew. Right there, I think. 
and we're going to go up and out and try to match there we go material steel bumped and boss 25 man okay so that looks pretty good so we'll go to the right side we'll do these And this one has the Texas logo on it. Let's go ahead and skew it some. There we go. That's fairly decent. And we'll do the same. We might need to skew it just a bit more. This way. Okay. And boss is 25, material, steel bumped. And then we go to the far outside ones and um, use that same branded outlaw logo. Skew it just a tad perfect. Material, steel bumped, and boss, 25. And we'll stretch it out here to make it fit noise bam just like that just like that so why is the white belt so freaking bright yowzas okay we're gonna have to change the strap some holy mackerel i hate to do that because it looks well it doesn't look too bad All right. Man, that's still very bright. What is that about? Should we just go back to it being black? Maybe black's the way to go. We'll just go back to, to black. Yeah. All right, black it is. Eh, it's fine. The title information. So for the championship, we're going to say... Dang it. So for the championship, what do we call this championship? What do we call this champion? It's a no DQ championship. But it's got to have something to do with with Puma. Let's do this before we go in. Let's take a look at the ring announcing. Let's go with... So there's Hardcore. Heritage or the Honor? Maybe the Honor. The Lucha Libre Honor championship no that sounds dumb the lucha libre hardcore championship lucha libre extreme fighting championship kind of like that lucha libre extreme oh this is insanity fighting all right so what we're going to do is say LL X Oops fighting Okay. Entrance name and champion name Oops. So we will do L L E X fighting. Okay. Oops. Oh no. Jeez, what a pain that would have been. Of course, we're gonna do number five. I think it is with the. Yeah. Bam. L L X fighting champion. Oh, man. Okay. 
Oh, I didn't choose it. So we need to change this to say championship. Oh man, is it gonna make it all weird? Is it gonna make it all weird looking? Does it? Yes, it does. Dang it. Um. Can we just, like... Oh, okay. So here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to do that. Okay. That works. Championship. Okay. This one will be LL. We'll do the same if it'll if it'll let us. Oops. There we go. All right. Cool. The Lucha Libre Extreme Fighting Championship. Let's go. I am the Miz. And this is my lovely wife, Maurice. Say something to the audience, Maurice. Oh, God. That was wonderful, honey. <laughs> you truly bring so much to the table and are certainly not just window dressing whose sole purpose of being in WWE is to follow me around from town to town, <gasps> ironing my weird Matrix cloak dress that I wear. <laughs> when my hand goes up, your mouth goes shut. When my right foot goes in, your right foot goes out. When my right foot goes in, you shake it all about. You do the stupid Miz dance and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Because I'm the Miz. And it sounds like the Miz. I'm awful. Okay. He kind of sounds like the Miz. That's pretty good. Miz is not happy about this. Look at his face. Since apparently our GM either thinks this is funny, which is impossible, or is just not paying attention to his own show, I am this close, this close, to dialing 911 to report two <laughs> counts of aggravated character assassination. Whoa, 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 Miz. Sasha and I were just having a little bit of fun out here. No need to go overboard. I mean, besides, you didn't even let me get to the best part. Other than showing everybody how big of a goof you are, the whole point of tonight was to debut my new singles title. Yes, sir. Here we go. Whoa! Damn, that looks awesome. Whoa! That looks fairly good. That looks really good. You see, since you refused to give me an intercontinental title shot, and then Triple H backed your little scheme with loser Bo Dallas, I was forced to make a title of my own. You're damn right I was. You created your own title? Wow. What do you think this is? WWE 2K19? <laughs> this is real life. It's not pretend time. You he don't get to make up your titles. In fact, this is the most pathetic thing I've ever seen. And I've seen your matches on the indies. You want to talk about problem, pathetic? So. I think someone who refuses to defend their title, that's pathetic. Because even though this championship is brand new, it already holds more value than yours because I'm not going to hide behind it. I'm going to defend it against anyone at any time. Oh, crap. Is Braun Strowman right, coming out here? I have someone you can defend your made-up title against. Oh. Someone who's still waiting for payback for a broken guitar. It's okay. I can, I can handle Elias. I don't know what like would happen said, if Braun Strowman... Anyone at any time. But you didn't give me a chance to explain that my title has some special conditions for how it must be defended. And what are they, Puma? Let us know. What do you mean? Like the matches can only be held in high school gyms? <laughs> or there can't be more than 200 <laughs> people in attendance? Uh, that's pretty good. That's pretty Not good. Not exactly. 
My title will only be defended in no disqualification matches. What? Look at them both. What the? What? She would, can he? Can he do that? Sasha, she's okay. Okay. The following contest is a no disqualifications match. And it's for the Lucha Libre Extreme Fighting Championship. The crowd is buzzing with excitement. Buzz is here. And look what's around his waist. Boom, perfectly cut out in the attire. Man, that was, okay, that's nice. Oh. Kind of floating back and forth. That's all right. The Lucha Libre Extreme Fighting Championship. Looking good around the waist of old Puma there. I spoke to Buzz today and he told me no matter how much success he has, he still gets nervous to compete in front of this many people. Coming from BCW, he should be used to big crowds. I heard that one event almost drew more fans than a JV girls volleyball playoff match. Well, that's right. It sure did almost draw more fans than a JV girls volleyball. Shut up. Mm -hmm. Sasha at ringside. The title looks good. The title looks good. All right. We're not going to sit here and watch the news. No. There it is, folks. Bam! The Lucha Libre Extreme Fighting Championship. Introducing the challenger from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 222 pounds, Elias. Introducing the champion. From Pangea, weighing in at 205 pounds. Look at, look at it, look he at it. Is the Lucha Libre Extreme Fighting Champion. Right. The... Here we go. Hold it up. Hold it up. Drink it in, man. If you would think about moving, you better apologize. Here we go, here we go. No DQ. Dang, and we get blasted right out of the gate by Elias, but Puma follows back hard. Big shots right to the face. Kick now, look at this. Nope. Elias takes Puma down to the mat. Puma slides out of the way. Goes for a jumping DDT, but Elias reverses that and drops Puma down. With a nice shoulder breaker sliding out of the way now. Who? Look at that. My goodness, what a head scissors that was. And Puma is already heading outside the ring. And he's getting a sledgehammer. Oh, Elias beats him to it. Sending, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, man, a rolling cutter there from Elias and Puma now. Oof in a bad way, bouncing off the ropes. And quick, okay. It's Elias it's delivers it's a huge clothesline. Oh, oh man, and now Elias already seems to be getting a little a little winded here. here. Puma's able to fight out of it. Oh my goodness, jawbreaker. Puma with the sledgehammer, oh, he misses. And Elias takes advantage. Sending Puma into the corner. Puma dives out of the way. Look at that. Good grief. Elias was hung up. He's got Puma up. Oh, my goodness. So close to that sledgehammer. Puma hops up to his feet, though, and misses with the clothesline. Catches it just in time. Double arm DDT to Elias. And Puma now with the sledgehammer driving it down onto the back of Elias. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Puma just totally destroying Elias with that sledgehammer. Now, look at this. Puma tuning it up here. And bang, no. Elias reverses. Uh-oh. Oh, into a backbreaker. Quickly. Look at Elias here going up top. Might be looking for that elbow drop. And Puma dives out of the way just in time. And again with the sledgehammer. And this time driving it hard at Elias who punches him in the face apparently. Unfortunately for the champ. Momentum is clearly and oh my gosh, hung over the top the rope again. He's absorbed in this match is absolutely insane. And the now bending his arm over, over that sledgehammer. Look at oh my gosh, the elbow definitely not meant to bend that way. And just a one count before Puma is able to kick out. Holy Toledo, this match is insanity right now. Puma, oh, knee right to the face from Elias. Elias now has got Puma up. He's going to send him hard into the corner. Uh oh. Puma, though, with the reversal. Look at this. Kick to the leg, and Puma up and over. Nice arm drag there. Nice arm drag. Puma now heading out of the ring. You know, for an Extreme Rules match, there aren't a lot of weapons. Uh-oh, Elias stops Puma with that, and now, the, now he grabs the bat back and plops Elias right on the head, and a second time, right across the dome of Elias, Puma begins to just completely wail on Elias here. The Miz, oh no. Look at this, Elias taking advantage. Nice German suplex, but a rope break. Uh-oh. Into the corner goes Puma. What does Elias have in store? Look at this. Bulldog so close to that sledgehammer. Oh, man. Puma hops up to his feet, and Elias says bring it, and Puma does just that. And a shot to the face, and another big chop, spinning kick. Oh, he's going to hook him up. Puma Gree. Puma Gree. Oh, man, Puma goes for the pin. All right, it is time to take care of some business out here because The Miz wants to interrupt people and get involved in things that don't concern him. So Elias, this come over this way, friend. Puma jumps in. No! Elias catches him and drives him down hard with a power bomb. Oh, wow. Puma kicks out and he jumps up and immediately he is taking it to Elias here. Puma into the corner. Steps out and blasts Elias with a kick to the face. And he's going to follow it up. Nice Hurricane Rana there from Puma. My goodness. Oh, boy. Over the top rope goes Puma. Good grief. And now Elias playing the air guitar, man. I'm not walking with Elias. If anything, Elias is going to um, he's going to have to take a break bam oh my gosh the baseball bat the baseball bat face first onto the baseball bat goes Elias and you've got to be freaking kidding me right now Miz bro uh oh okay come on how can we get through this nonsense oh my gosh a big re reverse suplex there this is insanity. Puma stops this. Get down, he says. And, oh, man, drops right across the midsection. Puma now backing up into the corner. Oh, and a cannonball. Wow. Okay. 
Puma slide or uh, Elias slides out of the ring. ring. Uh-oh. Into a suplex. Miz and Elias on either side of Puma here. Shot to the back and no, Puma reverses. Oh boy, DDT. And now Puma's been busted open, but he quickly rolls out of the ring. Uh-oh, okay, the Miz sending Puma back in the ring and he is excited about that. Not, not cool. Not cool. Into the corner goes Puma, but he dives out of the way. Leaving Elias hung up and he swings and misses. Swings and misses again. Elias now with the baseball bat. Puma dives on him though and immediately starts raining down punches. And the Miz again. Ref, get this fool out of here. He's going to screw me out of this whole freaking match. Rolling cutter. Rope break. My goodness. Puma though. Okay, he's going to roll out of the ring. The Miz quick though to pick him up and throw Puma back into the ring here. Puma's had enough. And oh, Puma hits the hits Elias here. Uh oh. Into the corner. No, Puma not having it. And oh my gosh. Into the backbreaker. Good night, Puma. I think this might be it. Into the corner goes Puma. Shot to the face. Into a bulldog. Holy cow, this could be it. Too fast and Puma gets dropped on with the elbow here. Oh man. Oh, dives out of the way and immediately jumps on Elias. He's gonna pick up this baseball bat and go to town on the Wanderer here. Oh gosh. Puma goes at him and whips him around. And Puma now diving and missing on the Miz. Mm-hmm. There's gotta be some point in the match where those thoughts start to creep in. Elias here. And then you got Making his way, Puma dives in and jeez, catches him for the second time. And Puma's able to kick out, good lord. Good lord. Calling him up now. Puma stops him and a kick to the face. And folks, this might be it for Elias. Puma's gonna drag him out to the ring. Oh jeez, you have gotta be freaking kidding me. Snap suplex by Elias. He's picking up Puma here. And a DDT, that's what busted Puma open in the first place. Into the corner again, but this time Puma not having it. He's gonna hook Elias up and a drop kick right to the side of the head. Puma putting the bat down. Oh man, Puma is cranked up here, folks. And he goes. Oh my gosh, Puma went for the Puma Gree. And look at this again. Elias is playing dirty. Puma can do the same. He's making a statement here with this attack. Puma jumping in, leg drop right across the body of Elias here. Oh, what a spine buster puts Puma down. And Puma's able to kick out. Holy Toledo. Whew. This has been crazy. What a crazy matchup this has been. Into the corner goes Puma. Elias is gonna spin him around looking for that bulldog again, but Puma's not having it. Oh, geez. Uh-oh, into the corner now. Uh-oh, what does Elias have planned? 
for Puma. Going, oh no. Oh no. Way up top, look at this. He's going for it. Superplex off the top rope. And my goodness, Puma might be broken in half. He might be done for. Not ready to give up just yet. Shot to the face and another. Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Puma sending or being sent over the top rope here. And finally, Elias decides to come out and join him on the outside. Puma with the reversal, though. Insiguri, no. Blocked by Elias. Jeez. Puma, though, is going to send Elias across the ring. Or, excuse me, across the, uh, the outside area. And get back into the ring here. Holy cow. This has been something else. I don't know how there's a count out in Extreme Rules, but it is what it is. Puma now with a baseball bat again. And no, Elias is going to take the bat away and drive Puma to the ground. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Up. Single shoulder powerbomb into the pin. And Puma still able to kick out here. Puma hops up to his feet, though. Dives on Elias. Oh, and Elias is going to roll out. Elias is going to roll out because he's a little scared, I think. Puma, though, diving from all the way inside of the ring. Good Lord. Good Lord. Puma's going to send Elias across the outside area here. And look at this. He's going to grab Elias on the outside and deliver this butterfly pile driver. Good Lord. Good Lord. Puma slides back into the ring. But, you know, that is not like Puma. Frog splash to the outside. Puma's not going to win this on a count out, that's for sure. Reversal from Elias. He slides back into the ring just to... Okay, just to get nothing, apparently. He's trying again. Oh, he hits Puma with the forearm. Bulldog center of the ring. Oh, my. This could be it for Puma here. This could be it. No! Puma dives out of the way. Puma dives out of the way quickly. Picks up Elias. Center of the ring. Puma agree. Puma agree. He rolls him over. This has got to be it. One, two, three. And just like that, after this hellacious match, a lot of back and forth. Puma gets the victory over Elias. Look at this. Puma agree. Bam. So close to that baseball bat. But we do. Look at this. Off the ropes. What? Curb stomp onto the baseball bat. Oh, my goodness. Puma gets the victory with a Puma Grease center of the ring. And still, the Miz is not happy about that. And look at the Miz. He is upset at what he's just seen. That's the kind of action we've come to expect here on Raw. What an amazing match. Moments later, what does, what does that mean? You showed up a few weeks ago on my show you acting like you own the place. You showed up a few weeks ago on there my show acting like you own the place. You insult me and my wife and then cut every corner possible by creating your own title. Not to mention forcing Elias to compete with a random stipulation he wasn't prepared for. Well, I am sick of it. You want your match? You got it. My legitimate, illustrious title versus your second-rate imaginary title. At Hell in the Cell, we're done playing make-believe because I'm going to show you what it's like to live in the real world. Buzz okay, has the, Miz. With the Miz. So what's Kurt Angle, what's doing, Kurt out Angle doing out here? 
sounds a little off, apparently. Glad you two are finally going to face off one-on-one. -on -one. I'm glad you two are finally going to face off one-on-one. Right. -on -one. That's right. Maurice, Elias, and the Mistraj will be banned for Brigside. And since Buzz's title is on the line, the match will be held oh, under be his title me. stipulations. Which means... No, oh, well, they're not happy about that. It will that. be a no-DQ match. No DQ at Hell in a Cell for the Intercontinental Championship. Okay, well, as you can see it right here, it is The Miz versus Puma at Hell in a Cell for the Intercontinental Championship and the Lucha Libre Extreme Fighting Championship. But we're going to cut the video right here. This video has been an hour long. A lot has happened. In the next one, we're going to pick it up where we take on The Miz and face him at Hell in a Cell. Can we become a double champion? You'll have to tune in next time to find out. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. And there's a lot going on, guys. Don't want to miss out.